Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I don't know what's going on, y'all. Like, sometimes I feel like I get some sleep, and sometimes I don't. Like, tonight, girl, I didn't go to sleep until 7.15 p.m. Right now, it's 9.46. I have to be at work for 10. So I basically got like an hour and like 45 minutes of sleep as I woke up around 9 o'clock. Like, it was more than an hour and 45 minutes. I think I got out to bed like at 9, 10, something like that. But I'm so sleepy. I'm gonna have to, something going, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I don't know. Anyways, so some of y'all wanted me to talk about Ice Cube. I mean, I really don't have that much to say. I hadn't been paying attention to what he was saying in interviews. I'll just say this much. Um, anytime I see like the Ice Cubes and the like Puff Daddy, like this is, let's just be for real y'all. Like Puff Daddy came up, I guess with another plan. Cause I'm not gonna say this was his only plan. He came up with the plan a few days ago. Like, on some real shit, like at this point, like all of this, oh, you gonna earn my vote? Like, ain't nobody earning shit in 17 days, 14, 15 to 13, 12 days. Like, either you know who you voting for, either you gonna vote for Trump or either you gonna vote for Joe Biden. All of this, girl, you gonna, you gonna do, like, girl, what? This is what I'm saying, like, y'all should have been doing this shit way back when, when we had, girl, 97 Democratic presidential nominees. Y'all wanna do it when it's down to the fucking wire and come up with all these plans and what you gonna do for me and how, what, what I'm gonna get out the situation. You ain't gonna get shit. Either you gonna get this one old white man named Joe Biden or you gonna get another old ass white man named Donald Trump. That's what you gonna get. That's what you gonna get. And then it's like, Every time I look up, it's some celebrity going into the White House with some type of plan. Like, I don't understand, like, why all y'all just can't, why all these celebrities who really want to help poor people so goddamn bad, why all y'all just can't come together with one goddamn plan and put y'all foot on their goddamn necks? This is the fucking plan. This is the plan. And then, like, where are y'all getting this information from? Are you talking to your cousins that still live in the hood? Are you talking to your cousins that might live in the suburbs? Are you talking to your, like, who, like, who are you talking to? Where, did this, where are these plans coming from? And, like, let's just be honest. Can we just be for real? Girl, them people ain't taking none of y'all hoes seriously. Like, that don't even take the people who do this for real seriously so you think they're really about to you think they're really about to pay attention to ice cube or puff daddy or beyonce or jay-z no this motherfuckers in uh in, in in dc who've been doing this shit for decades and still can't get nowhere now all of a sudden you think ice cube ice cube gonna walk into the white house and make some changes girl i, I don't want to sound pessimist but girl it is what it is girl Maybe, 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 maybe I am being pessimistic because, girl, I, ain't, I only got an hour and some change of sleep. Maybe, 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 maybe I need to do this video over. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know, girl. I just feel like you hear about these people who have been like, oh, I've been working on this, like, I've been working on this crime bill for, you know, eight years. And then, girl, all of a sudden, y'all think that one of these celebrities gonna walk into the goddamn White House and, girl, really get some shit done. Girl, please. And then every time I look up, like I said, there's a different celebrity walking into the White House every other week. Like, at the end of the day, I don't trust none of them hoes. I don't damn sure I don't trust the Republicans and I don't trust the Democrats. The only thing about the Democrats is they do their shit on the low. The Republicans, they got enough pussy lips and dick and balls so that you know straight up out. And then you know the real the real gag is, girl, like I don't understand how you expect anything from a group of people who don't even believe in racism. Hello? Like them people don't even believe that racism is it exists. Ask them. I thought this struggle's about to get over. Ask them about systemic racism. Uh-uh, that don't exist. 
Ask them about racism. Uh, uh that don't exist. So you expect these people who don't believe don't believe that any of that st shit exists that they really gonna turn around and help you? Like for real? They won't even acknowledge that the shit exists. But you think they? But they really here for helping black people? Okay. And then the, the other white, the white people on the other side, the Democratic, the Democratic Party, the only thing, they don't even want to change shit. They just want to be in charge of it. See, I, I caught they shit a long time ago. Like y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to, y'all really don't want to change shit. Y'all don't want to, y'all, y'all not mad that it's slavery. Y'all just mad y'all ain't in charge of the slaves. Hello? <laughs> That's the T girl. They ain't mad that it's slavery. They just mad because they ain't in charge of the motherfucking slaves. It's crazy. But like I said, the Republicans, baby, they just outright with they shit. They don't mind, they don't mind telling you what the fuck is going on or what the fuck they what the fuck they uh-uh. It's very good. It's, it's very good people on both sides. I don't trust none of them white people. None of them. Hello, none of them. But at the end of the goddamn day, girl, the truth of the matter is, trust them or not, bitch, you gonna have to put somebody in there to try to get what the fuck you want. And that's just what it comes down to. You ain't got to trust them, but bitch, you got to choose somebody. Either you gonna pick somebody. Or if you're not gonna pick nobody, you're just gonna sit back and complain. At least I'd rather try and pick somebody who I think gonna do something than to sit back and not pick nobody and just complain about what's going on. Ooh, excuse me. And girl, Portia, what? This is a problem that I have with Portia Williams, y'all. Like, okay, so there, there's like this after show or something that comes on Bravo. Like, this is like my second, second or third time seeing it. Like, it was a show with, one time I saw it, it was Portia, Giselle, I think Robin, I'm not for sure. But this time it was Portia, Giselle, some white girl, I've seen her before somewhere, and then another white girl who I ain't never seen ever. And they were talking about the, I guess the Porsche, uh, the Candace and Mo. I'm so fucking sick and tired of that goddamn. I'm really, t I'm really tired of talking about that fight. Um, but can't, Porsche was basically saying how um, Candace, you just was throwing a knife at somebody last year. Basically talking about Candace pressing charges and Monique possibly going to jail and how Candace was basically doing, too, Candace doing too much. Cause you just threw a butter knife at somebody last year. Portia, this is why I say I can't take Portia seriously. Because even though we all know that police brutality is not the same thing as me getting into a, getting into a fight with someone who just happens to be black, that's not the same thing. However, the message that you put out there can be very well much so a goddamn distraction. Like, Portia, how are you sitting here fighting on the front line about black people receiving a bla uh, police brutality and black people not receiving the same rights as other people and all this stuff? And then, girl, you turn around and try to justify another black woman getting beat up by another black woman in front of these white folks. And then y'all wonder why these white folks be sitting here like, Bitch, y'all hoes is crazy. Y'all ain't about shit. Y'all hoes running around boys and fighting and shit, but then y'all want to turn around and say how other motherfuckers... Like, even though we know it's not the same thing, they can use it as a talking point. And I think that's, like, one of my friends was saying with Wendy. I think that's part of where Wendy is coming from. Like, bitch, I get on TV fighting for black people every goddamn day, and now I got to get my ass back on TV and try to explain to people why two of my goddamn sister friends or two of my co-workers are in a goddamn boring fight. Like, that shit sounds crazy. And for Portia to sit there and be like, girl, all she did was pull your hair. Girl, you really gonna press charges? Girl, did nobody do nothing when you pulled the knife? Well, guess what, bitch? She, if she felt like her life was in danger or if she felt like she was assaulted, then she should have pressed charges too. But Portia, you the wrong person, girl. You going down the wrong road. The wrong, girl, who she looking at? You going down the wrong road. The wrong road. Like, girl, you said, Portia just sounds crazy to me. If anything, Portia should have been up there saying, you know, you know, 
at the end of the day, this event happened a year ago. But you know what? This event happened a year ago. However, at the end of the day, because of what's going on, it's never a good look for two of my sisters, two, two other black women, to be on television fighting when we should be fighting the enemy, not fighting each other. No, I don't. I, I don't. I don't like that this happened. However, hopefully we can move to it and uh, move past it and come together and fight the right people, which is girl, the motherfucking white folks out here blowing our fucking brains out. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? That's what she should have said. She should have said something denouncing violence, not condoning violence. Because girl, I'm on the front lines fighting for us, and I can't do that when y'all out here fighting each other. But but that and y'all wonder why Kenya put him uh putting emoji signs up because girl low key Portia you low key not even low key bitch how can you full of shit Portia sounds crazy girl you want to be front you want to be fighting on the front lines for equality and black women but girl you can't even sit here and say girl. You can you you can acknowledge some shit without calling your friend out like I just said. Because this is not the time to be fighting each other. We need to be fighting the enemy. Even though this incident happened a year ago, it's being played out right now. But Portia, you on some hoe, oh girl, like let's just say, baby, that's a, that's that's some, I'm I'm sorry to say it, but that's some ghetto ass way of thinking. That girl, you could literally go around here. Y'all want to be boosy badass. Y'all want to be boosy badass. Y'all want to be boosy. Why did I park right here? Y'all yeah, wanna be boosy badass until it's time to pay the motherfucking consequences. Now girl, y'all wanna walk around here. Yeah, I beat that bitch ass cause she was talking shit. I beat that bitch ass cause she was talking shit. But now it's girl, but you gonna get the cops involved? Like girl, y'all hoes sound crazy. And Portia sound even more crazy. That's what I said, baby. I can't take Portia seriously, girl. Portia, you all on TV. Girl, instead of condoning this shit, you pretty much said, girl, you got what you deserve. But girl, let me go back out here and tell the, tell the world that they should treat us, they, they shouldn't treat us like shit. Girl, Portia, shut up. All right, y'all, I'm gone. Girl, my internet is out. So I'm about to try to post these videos right now at work. I don't even feel like calling AT&T uh, AT no more because I'm sick of them hoes. Like, AT&T, AT girl, I, I, I can't, I don't want to blame it on AT&T. Because the me okay, I, I I feel like I can't blame it on AT and T because I feel like I know what's going on. Wherever my wires are at, the last guy, the first guy who came, told me that he thinks. I don't know who that was, girl. Um, it's, even though it's, even though he working at security, girl, you can't trust nobody, girl. Um, <laughs> girl, let me lock my door, girl. God, girl, let me lock my door, girl. Girl, you see him walking, girl. Girl, what did he want? Gonna walk up to this car, girl. Y'all saw him walking so or kicking something, trying to be nosy. That's how people get their motherfucking uh, head blown off, girl. Keep walking. Um, I guess it's an animal or a bug or something in the goddamn uh, animal in whatever, whatever attic or whoever sitting, whatever building that the wires cold. The rest, of, I don't know, girl. I don't know. All I know is, girl, the, my internet not working no more and. I'm gone, y'all. Bye.